Hey everybody, it's Robbie at Amped Airsoft again, and this time we're going to be discussing poppet valves and how they work. Um, the poppet valve is the piece inside the fusion engine that regulates the amount of air going to the BB. When the poppet valve is in its open position, it will allow air to flow to the BB to cycle the shot. After each consecutive shot, the fusion engine cycles, and will close back up and await the next shot. The poppet valve does a pretty good job of regulating the amount of air going to the BB. However, we believe that our low flow poppet valves will give you better air efficiency on semi and especially full auto whenever the poppet valve uses the most amount of air. So today on this video, we're going to be tearing apart the poppet valve and the fusion engine and discovering exactly what makes our poppet valve special. Okay everyone, laid out before me, I have the three different types of poppet valves that are commonly seen on the market. On my right, we have the standard PR15 or fusion engine poppet valve. Next one over is the red poppet valve that we sell. And the one on the furthest to the left, that is the gold poppet valve that we sell. They're all very different and I'm going to explain why. Here we have a standard PR15 or fusion engine poppet valve. We're going to disassemble it for the sake of comparison with the two low flip poppet valves that we offer. To do so, unscrew the end cap and pull off the collar. This will reveal the four drilled holes along the circumference of the diameter of the poppet valve. Reducing the size of these holes will increase efficiency. Reducing the diameter of these holes will result in a feet per second loss, but increased efficiency nonetheless. For this reason, there are some specific requirements for use of the low flow poppet valves. You are now viewing our red poppet valve. As you can see, the diameter of these holes is, re is decreased significantly over the stock poppet valve, resulting in much improved efficiency. Next up, we have our gold poppet valve. Even more efficient, these holes are much smaller than even the red poppet valve. There is a catch though. Due to this, we do not recommend the gold poppet valve to be used with Orga barrels due to the significant FPS loss. You'll be best off uniting the gold poppet valve with a Type 4 barrel of some sort. To access the poppet valve assembly on any fusion engine, first we must unscrew part of the cylinder assembly. For the most part, this is the same on all fusion engines, and for the sake of time, I have already undone all necessary screws. Now you are viewing the poppet assembly on your PR15 or fusion engine. Removing the poppet valve assembly can be a little tricky, but I have a technique that I would like to share with you. Preferably, you want to use a sharp pick tool such as this, most of which can be found in dental sets and other various precision tools. To remove the poppet valve, first you must remove the large o-ring holding the poppet valve in place. To do this, gently scoot the tool under the, under the o-ring and pull it out gently like so. From here, you will be able to wiggle out your poppet assembly, set it off to the side. Note the spots of lubrication on the poppet valve, as you will need to lubricate these again as a step of preventive maintenance. All of our low flow poppet valves will include the poppet valve itself, along with their replacement o-ring. Be sure to have some sort of pample lubricant on hand, such as the Tech-T gun staff grease that we sell. High quality grease is a necessity for the proper function of your fusion engine. To install the new poppet valve, place the poppet valve colored side first down into your cylinder assembly, making sure everything is pressed tight and snug. Once you have done this, we can reapply the o-ring. Be sure that the o-ring has a proper seal on the poppet valve. I like to use a flathead screwdriver to press the o-ring down into place. The finished assembly should have no imperfections in the o-ring. It should be 100% symmetrical all the way around. If it is not, be sure to press down any pressure points. Now that the poppet valve is installed, we're ready to reapply it to our fusion engine. Make sure that the poppet spring is aligned perfectly with the center of the fusion engine assembly, then begin to screw your unit back together. It is a necessity to have your unit screwed completely back together, otherwise there might be an air seal issue. So make sure you get your poppet and air nozzle assembly tight up against the rest of the cylinder. All of the following chronograph sequences were done with 0.2 gram BBs at varying PSIs. The first test was done at 120 PSI. Note that this setup also has an Orga 63 wide bore barrel installed. 